All right, so you may not be familiar with this brand, but you should be. Because Winnebago Industries bought Newmar about six months ago, mid-2019. So now Newmar is part of the Winnebago family. They bought Newmar because of their upscale Class A coaches. Let me show you this bad boy. Holy cow. This is a Travato on Arnold Schwarzenegger workout program. Wait till you see this. So this is the Dutch Star. You see these all the time at big RV parks. This is a model 484081. Check this thing out. Holy cow. Couch, ginormous television, air conditioning, cool air coming out of this vent. It's got soffit lighting huge recliners this is a slide out this whole side i think i'll show you that this was a slide out look at this kitchen double sink that's the living space dining space this is kind of cool never seen this before it's kind of a dinette but um, residential fridge, I'm in awe here. I bet this is half bath. Yes, half bath. Very nice. So your guests aren't going potty in your space, which can be separated by the pocket door. Oh, the pools, that's like Embassy RV, that's cool. All right. So master bedroom. I'm saying that's a king size bed. Television. Lots of cabinetry. This continues the slide out. Yes, this is all one continuous slide out. Look at this bathroom. Oh my goodness. This is probably, what do you think? Washer and dryer? Place a bed. Yes, stacking washer and dryer. Why leave the house, really? Hi guys. <laughs> uh, very residential-ish uh, sink, toilet. Look at the shower. Even comes with a teak seat. Look at the fancy shower head. So when you're tired of Travadoing and want to do RV but in a grander style, Kyle would like this a lot. And uh, this might be the way to go. Let's see if we can find a price on this. This thing is just enormous. So, but a lot of folks also have driven these for a lot, long, long time. These style class A ginormous uh, rigs um, and actually downsize because of uh, they want a little bit more actual freedom. Uh, so this is so nice though. Good job Winnebago acquiring these guys. This has a really high-end feel. Talking to the nice RV uh, sales guy. So this is 40 feet long. So twice as long as the Travato. <laughs> By comparison, uh, $480,000. This is a half million dollar baby. You can sell everything, buy an RV. That's beautiful though, right? So this is the uh, other side of the uh, this 40 foot uh, Dutch star here. And you can see that the entire driver's side is this huge slide out. So your choice, you can have one Dutch star for 500 grand, or you can have five Travados. One for almost every day of the week, maybe every week of the month, and one for the kids. That would be fun. A family of Travados. Or 
I want Dutch Star. So this is uh, kind of interesting. So I talked with the uh, salesman for a second. I said, help me understand the where the Dutch Star sits in the Newmar ranking of, of vehicle quality and and uh, yeah, price point. Uh, apparently, half million dollar Dutch Star is about mid tier. This is the highest end one. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's crazy. The big difference I'm seeing is not the overall amount of space, probably the same chassis, um, but the quality of the finishes. What I find hilarious is this. So this is way over a million dollars, but look at this. Anybody with a Travato will recognize that? Four dollar LED light in a million dollar rig. It's got a lot of them, but it's got a lot of those same lights that I got in my Travato, you probably have in yours. And uh, this thing is really amazing. So it's got an island kitchen, meaning, well, not an island, but this is an island. So recreation, not recreation, but, you know, living room area, dining area, kitchen area. The difference I'm seeing is quality of detail, like tile. Look at this handle. That is beautiful. The woodwork, clearly a lot of time. It's actually beveled. Wow, you guys see that? Um, so everything's got wood on it. Uh, half bath, look at the nice detailing on the door. So for the extra you know, half million, whatever this thing is, same general floor plan as the other one, but just the quality of the finishes. Wait till you see this bathroom. Holy cow. Look at this. With your $5 LED light, that just cracks me up. Uh, look at the sink. His and hers, hers and hers, his and his. I'm only using one anyway, but this, look at the sink. Hammered metal, that is really nice. And the backlighting on the mirrors, see that? That's cool. So yeah, big money equals better fittings, that's beautiful. Oh wow, that's so funny it has these lights, right? <laughs> what do you think? Let's see how much this one is, just for the heck of it. Maybe you can get 10 Travados for the price of one of these. Then with the guy, the King Air is top of the line on Newmar. Uh, it's 45 feet long, so it's a little bit longer than the uh, other one. It's $1 million. So you can, again, have one of these bad boys, or you can have 10 Travados. <laughs> Buy everyone in your family at Travada. And have a big camp out. Or you could pack them in this, I guess. That's cool. <laughs> so kind of a standard floor plan, which we've seen. But if you have storage issues in your Travado, uh oh look at this. Same lights. It's so funny. Oh, my God. That just cracks me up. Um, if you, I'm going to have a surprise ending here. So if you have lots of clothes, that would be my Kyle. Maybe you would love in your Travato, wait for it, a walk-in closet, cedar lined. Look at the size of this thing. It's the, half the size of my Travato. That is insane. I wish I had my measuring tape. And I bet this is the washer dryer. What do you think? Yes. Washer and dryer. So again, it kind of boils down to what are your priorities, right? Clearly, this is a clothes horse floor plan. This shower's kind of nice. Um, so this is a competitor to Newmar, uh, which is now Winnebago Industry Division. Um, I hadn't seen this size closet before, so I just had to share that with you. So trying to get out of the Class A, I managed to get into the Class C section. These are on Freightliner chassis. Uh, it's technically a C because of overcab. But it's this humongous thing they call it a Super C. <laughs> so you got B plus, compact C's, and then a Super C. Um, these are crazy. Uh, that one down there is about a quarter mil. Uh, nothing really special there, but you said the high end one is down here. So let's go take a peek at what that looks like. And a Super C. <laughs> One's at the end of the row, so probably the more, more expensive. This is an Icon. Again, Freightliner. Whoa, it's just like a diesel truck. I'm gonna zoom out. Choom. Um, Big awning, TV, enter mid coach. That caught my eye. Let's take a look at this. 
Here's the uh, floor plan layout. This is a 54534RX for really expensive? I don't know, let's look. How about RX for really exotic lighting? Wow. So this is the view that the truckers see. It's even got, a, oh crap, trip, sorry. It's even got a CB radio, is that awesome? Uh, the Wendlands, Mike and Jennifer were trying to reinvigorate the CB market for RVs. I actually might, toy with that idea. 10 for a good buddy. Look at this lighting thing. You guys see that? <sighs> that is really cool. It's got a chandelier. When's, when's the last time you see a chandelier in an RV? That's nice. Stone tile. Real stone tile. That's Cool. Huge residential fridge. This is probably the half bath. Yep. Nice detail on the door. Probably wardrobe. Nope. Yep, you guessed it. King size bed. Really nice woodwork. These lights are infinity lighting. Is that what you call that? So interesting tile floor, commode, sink, bees. Um, back leg on the mirror, love that. Ooh, look at this shower. Ooh, holy cow. That would make you want to stay in there all day. I hope you have endless hot water. Look at that teak uh, seat, nice. This is pretty cool. Let's see if we can figure out the price. I'm guessing it's 500 grand. Let's try and get the size as well. So again, if you are tired of Travato and want a little more space and want to drive like a truck, this is all slide out here, by the way. Um, maybe a Super C is in your future if the Class A isn't. Yeah, so hold on to your pants. That thing is 45 feet long, so it's the same size as that Class A Numar. Hold on to your wallet. That bad boy is $800,000. You can buy eight Travados and bring seven of your closest friends in their own Travado, or you can pack them all into that. That's a beautiful rig, though. And to quote the salesman here, when I told him I live in a Travado, he goes, you survive in a Travado, you can live in that. I would truly have to sell everything to get that. Let's <laughs> keep moving. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, got a couple more Super Show surprises coming up for you. But um, again, I just uh, am clearly blown away by uh, the RV classes. There's the A, the B, and the C. The B+, plus, the C-, minus, the Super C, the OMG, and WTH. Seriously, um, the things money can buy. Really enjoyed sharing that with you. Hope you got a little bit of a chuckle out of that. I certainly did. Half million dollar rig. You know, get get five truck autos for you and your friends. Um, it's just crazy. Anyway, uh, really hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumb up if you did. Uh, by the way, my name is Scott. I'm your host. Go small, live large. We're all about the RV lifestyle, van life, learning, sharing. Ugh, just a crazy first month of 2020, right? A whole lot more coming up. Would sure enjoy you being part of the party. So subscribe. That would be hitting the subscribe button. And then get notification when new video comes out, which has been a lot lately. Um, 
and then comment. And uh, as always, I really appreciate you being out there. Until we see you again, I wish you to journey on. See ya.